Hi everybody, how's it going today? Thanks for watching another video. I'm in our 942 here with the blade on it. We've had some uh, snow here the last couple days. It's uh, Wednesday here today. It's, uh, it started snowing Monday night, snowed all day yesterday, and it's uh, just below freezing, so it's been wet, heavy snow. They uh, loaded one load of milk last night, and Cody just got here to load the second load here. The roads were all closed yesterday and uh, into this morning, but it looks like they're open now. So they're planning to take the two loads of milk into Fargo here this morning. It's, uh, the wind was coming from the east, kind of northeast, which is not typical for us. So there was uh, snow in areas we don't usually have snow. And because it was kind of wet, heavy snow, the roads had quite a bit of snow on them. So I bladed the road last night to town and again this morning and it was definitely needed. There was a lot of snow on the road. So uh, whenever we get snow, it's always, uh, you know, it's piles on the roofs. And it, you're always thinking about the, the snow load, I guess, if the roof can handle the snow. Most of the snow on the lands on the south sides or sticks on the south sides. And when it warms up, it usually slides off, but there's a few spots that we typically keep an eye on. There's one here. I think I'll jump out and show you guys because there's like two, three feet of snow on this section of roof here. And some of it's come off, come down already because it's been fairly warm here. It's just below freezing. I would expect most of that will come down, but we might have to uh, knock it down with the telehandler if it doesn't because it's... It's quite a bit of weight there on that roof and there's more snow coming here this afternoon and all day tomorrow by the sounds of it. This section here where the holding area meets the barn always kind of catches snow up there. You can see some, it slid down some already. It's hanging a couple feet over the overhang and there's probably a good, at least a good two feet of snow on top there. But We'll definitely want to keep an eye on that, that that comes off here today sometime. The south barn here, the south milking barn, most of that snow's come off. The north barn still has all the snow on it, but it's less than a foot in the thickest area, so I'm not too concerned about that. I think that will come down too at some point today. But it's, uh, wasn't planning to make another snow video or storm video, but here we are, I guess. Oh. But there, we did get a lot of snow, more than more than I, I was expecting. I think there was, uh, I think we've had probably a good foot again of snow, and there's some more coming. But when it's wet like this, it makes it a little bit more challenging, just more difficult to move, and it it doesn't uh, blow around as much, so you tend to end up having a lot of snow everywhere instead of just in the spots where it gets drifted. But it is what it is. It's a it's a nice day today. It was supposed to snow all day today also, but it hasn't, or not not yet anyway. It snowed a little this morning, but not much. So we can get things cleaned up and then get ready for the snow that's coming. It's the next day here. Wind and snow has really picked up here after lunch. Can't really tell in the yard here, but once you get out into the road, away from the trees, the visibility is pretty much zero. The uh, two milk trucks loaded t this morning here. They waited till the sun came out to uh, head to Fargo. The roads were open when they left, but just before lunch, they closed the uh, highway from here to Jamestown. And now interstate's also closed. So they're in Fargo and uh, they called me unlikely that they're going to be able to get back to Carrington here. At least not today, maybe not even tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. But the plan is to uh, Put a couple extra loads in our silo if uh, or at least set the alarm for that so if they don't come back tomorrow then we're set up for them to haul four loads out of there on saturday to catch back up so i'm in our milk house here so our, our small tank there 7200 gallons that one is empty and washed we're milking into our silo here now it's uh i think we can hold about five loads in there it's uh, 40 000 gallons so I'm going to change the alarm and set that to uh, about 290,000 pounds, four loads of milk. So I'll milk into this silo here uh, all of today, all of tomorrow until until they get back, I guess. The alarm will probably go off around uh, 5 a.m. or so, 4 or 5 a.m. Saturday morning. So depending on what time they get back, they, hopefully they'll be back by then. But 
There's a pressure sensor on this thing, so we have to go into the computer here, shut the cooling off. And then we'll take it up to 290, well, 289. We've, uh, we've never filled it all the way to the top, but we've had more than four loads in there before. One time, probably about uh, less than a month after we put it in, actually. So it's, uh, it's come in handy a couple times already. Before we had the silo, we had two of these smaller tanks, two of these 7,200 gallon tanks, and that it doesn't even hold a day's worth of milk for us. So there, there was a few times in the past where we we, uh, where it was storming, the trucks couldn't get here or they couldn't get from here to Fargo and we had to dump milk because cows never stop uh, producing milk so we have to keep milking them whether we have somewhere to put it or not. So then we disconnect the hose and pump the milk straight into the drain and that's uh, not very fun to do that. But since we put the silo in, we haven't had to do that yet with the silo and our milk tank. It gives us a little under three days worth of storage and three days is actually the maximum where we're allowed to store milk on the farm here. So it doesn't make sense to have more storage than that, but puts us in a, in a good position uh, on days like today so that uh, when the trucks can't get here, we've got a little bit of a buffer. We got some time for them to uh, catch up. It's supposed to uh, snow and be windy all tonight and uh, even tomorrow, I think. I don't know what time tomorrow it's supposed to start letting up, but... Kind of planning at the moment for uh, this to last all through tomorrow and that they won't be able to pick up any load, any milk tomorrow. That's, uh, that's kind of what we're thinking is going to happen, but we'll see. For sure, Saturday looks good, so I think for sure they'd be able to get milk loaded out Saturday and then they'll have to try to make two trips with each of the trucks to try to catch up. So that Sunday we'll be back to a normal uh, two loads in the morning. I'm back by the shop here now. I have, uh, I think I did talk about it, but I don't think I ever showed you guys. But so this, this is a silage pile here. This, uh, this was this year's silage. And we fed a little bit off this pile to make some room for the semis to be able to back into our commodity building over there. And we just closed this up on Sunday. So we didn't cut the plastic a couple times and then when it was long enough to uh, reach the ground we closed it up and then put uh, bales on it. Try to keep it from spoiling. We'll probably have a little bit of spoilage on this edge when we open it up again but we can shave that off and put it on the manure pile. But now we're just feeding silage from, the, from our other pile again from last year, 2021 silage. But that's uh, quite a distance from our feeding area here so we bring four, four and a half loads of silage up to the feeding area here once a day. Enough uh, for a day's, day's worth of feeding. And the Sam's working on that today here. I'll go out there, I think he's got a half load left and then I have to give him a ride back to the payloader to bring the payloader back up here. But I'll, uh, I'll show you guys that. Uh, you can see, uh, see how the weather is too because then we, we go kind of out into the open. Hopefully we don't get stuck. wagon up to our tractor drive it out here and then we'll come out here with our payloader that we feed with sorry about that windshield's a little bit dirty but I don't want to stand outside in this wind then we'll uh, 
we'll load it up. Uh, yeah, like I said, four, four and a half loads a day that, that we're feeding were the silage. So he's, um, he's just getting in a, the half load here, he said, and then I'm going to give him a ride back. So we unhook this tractor every day so we can put the tractor inside. We don't have enough room in our shop for the tractor and the trailer. And, um, it has to come off today anyways because I want to put the blade back on it so I can uh, clear the road off again. It's um, getting quite a few drifts out on the road and I want to make sure that our our guys that are working tonight can come to the farm and that everybody that's working now can get home. It's, uh, it's getting pretty nasty out here. I don't think you guys can really see it that well on the camera but snow is really blowing once you get out into an open area visibility is pretty much zero side off so that we can reach it with the loader. We also use this wagon to uh, like manure sometimes. Obviously not when we're using the silage because then it gets manure in there so we'll clean it out and we can clean if we have to. But we take the side off so we can reach it with this loader and our smaller loader can also reach up in there. Pulled one of our guys out, was uh, stuck in this uh, SUV. There's not a whole lot of snow on the road, but there's some pretty big drifts out here. I'm sure you guys are not going to be able to see a whole lot. Of... Pretty difficult to see what I'm doing here. It's um, driving more by feel than by sight, I think. Just kind of feeling where the edge of the road is and trying to just follow that a little bit. It's, uh, it's pretty bad out here. Not much for visibility at all. You can see the, the road at uh, some spots, but some spots is just completely white. It's terrible. I'm going to go all the way to town, make sure the road is at least clean. Go back and uh, keep moving some snow around the farm. I think once I go back and forth, the, the shift that's done here at 5, should be able to make it back to town. But it's, uh, even with the road clean, if you can't see anything and you get too close to the ditch, it just sucks you in. And then you're just, you're stuck, you're done. I'm surprised they made it through some of this stuff here. There's about a, almost a foot of snow on right there. Kind of uh, extreme weather here. Victor just called me again and he, uh, he hit the ditch. The, the road was plowed, or at least partially plowed, but visibility must have been so bad that he couldn't see where the road was and he hit the ditch just like I was talking about before and then it doesn't take much and you're stuck. I'm gonna have to give him some crap when we get there. I think they're uh, close to my mom and dad's driveway, their house, he thought. So I just went to town on my way back, should be there in a couple minutes. Shouldn't be too bad to get them out, hopefully. I shouldn't complain because at least they made an effort to try to make it to work. I don't think we've ever had anybody not try to make it to work. So that's, uh, that's a good thing, I guess. The cows need to be, the cows need to be milked, so everybody needs to uh, come to work if they can. And if not, we'll uh, try to help them get there. Just what I thought, looks like they slid right into the ditch. Well, move, move over a little bit, Sam. More this, more this way, yeah. It's pretty windy out here.
problem. No problem. Past five, they gotta get going, the cows are waiting. Aye, aye, aye. It's the uh, next day here, it's uh, about four o'clock in the afternoon. Just uh, back on the road, heading to town. Uh, milk trucks, they, they both stayed in Fargo last night, uh, waited for the roads to open up this morning, and started making their way back to Carrington. They're, uh, I think they're about 10 minutes away from Carrington, so I'm going to head to town and meet them at the highway. Just want to make sure that there aren't any big drifts on the gravel road here. I plowed this road this morning, but I'm sure there's going to be some uh, big drifts again. It's It's been uh, windy and still snowing a little bit all day or at least it looks like it's snowing it's hard to tell if it's just old snow blowing around or if it's still snowing also but it's uh visibility is better than it was yesterday but not a whole lot better I'm not sure how it was on the highway it sounded like the roads weren't terrible but in some spots visibility wasn't very good but at least they could they could see the road originally the plan was going to be uh, they had opened the road sooner, they were going to come back, load, and then head back to Fargo again right away to uh, either unload another two loads today or be in Fargo in the morning to unload two in the morning right away. But it we kind of made the decision that that wasn't really a good idea. The, the road is still open, but it's, it's uh, yeah, it's 4 o'clock already. By the time to get loaded, it's going to be 5.30, 6 o'clock. It's going to be dark, so I figured probably better just to uh, wait in town see what tomorrow looks like when the light when the Sun comes out if the roads are open they'll head to Fargo in the morning and then uh, come back load two more loads and then they'll try to get four loads delivered on Sunday it's gonna be uh, Friday today Saturday tomorrow so then they'll uh, try to get ready to load two, four loads on Sunday to catch us back up so that's the that's the plan right now Figured it, we're good on uh, storage at the farm. No need to push it if we don't need to. No sense in driving at night during these conditions if we don't have to. So that's what they're gonna do. Hopefully uh, some of this dies down overnight and they don't have to wait too long in the morning and they can get going. But we'll, uh, we'll just have to see how, how it plays out tomorrow. On my way back to the farm, you guys probably can't see it, but they're, they were waiting for me at the highway there. there. Wasn't too much snow on the road here, but right where they had to turn off, there was some snow just from the plows coming down the highway there. And it doesn't take much for those trucks to get stuck when they're empty with no weight on the rear axles. They Just in a few inches of snow, they'll uh, get stuck, especially if it's icy underneath. They're, uh, they're following me following me back out to the farm, so they're going to get loaded and then I think they're going to park them and wait till tomorrow, see how tomorrow looks.
Glad to see those milk trucks rolling in here. They uh, they definitely try those guys. Uh, always always trying their hardest to get their get our milk out when they can and get our feed in when when they can. We uh, we need a, need a load of distillers tomorrow afternoon, but looks like the weather's supposed to clear up by then. We had brought in an extra load of uh, mineral and an extra load of canola meal here. Canola meal last week and uh, mineral a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago maybe. Just uh, for situations like this so that we're not right away out of uh, out of feed when we have a storm like this. But we do need a load of uh, distillers tomorrow, but it doesn't look like that'll be an issue. They're going to get these two trucks loaded, take them into Fargo tomorrow, then come back, load two more, and then... Uh, head back to Fargo again and probably unload them in the morning. They can't unload all the time there. There's uh, specific times when they can unload. So they'll unload those early Sunday morning, come back, load two more, and then take two more loads on Sunday afternoon is uh, kind of what the plan is, I guess. We'll see how uh, tomorrow goes first before we get too uh, ahead of ourselves. But yeah, glad, glad to see those trucks here then at least uh, all of our work here the last couple days wasn't for nothing so uh, I think we'll, uh, we'll end the video here appreciate you guys watching and hopefully we'll see you in the next video